Well, boys, it's early in the morning. We're just pulling into Elevated AF. We got the SEMA tow rig towing what's supposed to be or hopefully going to be our official SEMA build. So this right here is a brand new dead stock Ford F-350. And uh, frankly, you're pretty hard pressed to find these these days, but we did manage to find one. I'm fairly certain the guys are in the shop today and uh, they're going to get working on this. Hey, open up in there. There we go. But we got a lot going on today. I think we got a couple builds coming in. So we're going to get to work on that. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, help me out by giving that like button a little tap. It helps out the video a ton. And I appreciate it so much. And while you're down there, if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe and helps me make videos just like this. So if you want to see more, you know, buttons down there. So this right here is a truck we've had for a very, very long time. And for some reason, it's just never sold. We're, we can't figure out why. But today, that might actually change. We got a guy coming to look at it here in about an hour or so. And I'm just going to get this thing stuck out here. And hopefully it sells. I do love this truck, but frankly... It's time to clear up some room. I was just getting some stuff cleaned up in the shop, but I'm pretty sure I just seen someone pull in. Yeah, they're up at the front there. I guess we'll uh, see what that's all about. It can't be the guy that's coming to look at the other truck that we just pulled out there. I think this is supposed to be one of the builds coming in for today. Oh, it is. It's that red third gen. The way the guy was talking about that thing, I'm pretty excited what we're going to be doing to that. All right, so the dude just left here. He dropped his truck off. This is a 2003 Ram 2500 Cummins Turbo Diesel. Diesel? Diesel? Turbo it says something like that anyway he did most of the work to this himself the lights the paint whatever but he came here to uh get some nice rims and tires on it since he doesn't have a tire machine and frankly we can help him out with that but the amount of power he has got in this truck is absolutely nuts so this truck currently as it stands is kind of a sleeper build crazy amount of power under the hood but looks pretty much stock now we're gonna be changing that today we put it on some uh some wides I think he's got a leveling kit on it. That's about it. So we're going to make sure along with all the power he's got, he's going to be rolling in style. Hopefully at least. Anyway, we picked this truck up not too long ago. This is our uh, flatbed. I think the guy's got it running now perfectly. Man, the international rolling in style now. They got it all cleaned up and everything. We still want to put some cool rims on this. All right, it's time to get the Chevy out of here. But I guess I better give you guys a bit of an explanation. So my main shop hand, Chris, he's been working here for a couple years now and uh, he made a trade with one of my trucks i don't know how that quite happened but we're loading this thing up heading a couple hours away to make a trade for an obs ford now i don't know why we're trading this because i feel like this is a lot more price wise than an obs ford but chris assures me that it's a good trade so we'll trust him on that one he better be paying me for this I don't know how he quite convinced me to trade one of my own trucks. Anyway, it's going to be the International's first real road trip here. And hopefully it goes good. I think first we might have to grab some diesel though. All right, diesel's filled up. Let's get on the road. Oh, that trooper. He sits right behind there in times, people. Just after the speed change. But I guess we better make some miles. We got uh, a long couple hours ahead of us. Well, we're just pulling up to the property here. All right, let's get this thing unloaded and let's get uh, this deal hopefully done. Because I would like to get back to the shop. All right, so I just spoke with the dude here. He's letting me take it out for a drive. He's checking out the Chevy. This is a Cummins swap, OBS. So it, it's it's all right. Sounds loud, though. Let's, uh, let's send this down the road just a little bit. Got a little bit of get up and go. Shifting is a little bit rough on it. I will say that. But it is straight pipe, so it's actually crazy loud. Rolls quite a bit of coal, too. All right. Well, I, I guess this is Chris's deal. He just wanted me to take it out for a drive for him. Really wants this truck, so if the guy wants to make the trade, I'll make the trade. Well, the deal was done. I still can't believe I'm trading a freaking built Chevy for an OBS Ford. This thing also barely fits on the truck. Oh, man. We are weighing down the international, that's for sure. Well, we just got back to the shop here. I'm just unloading this thing. Oh, they got the Cummins done. Perfect. But I need to check out this Cummins. Oh, man, is it looking good. Street tires aren't usually my thing. I prefer the big bogger type tires. But uh, you know what? This actually looks pretty good. And considering how fast this thing is, it, uh, it definitely needs these. Pretty clean build. Looks a lot better than the stocks, I will say that. Anyway, I did get a call from the guy that's supposed to come look at the Chevy here. He got a little bit delayed, so he should be here in about like 10 minutes. But supposedly, from what the guys are saying, they got the uh, F-350 torn down there, and hopefully, they should be putting the lift on here pretty soon. We already got all that done. We've basically just been prepping for that truck, waiting for it, so hopefully, it's done sooner than later. We still are on a bit of a SEMA crunch here, even though it's not for a couple months, but we want to get it done as soon as possible so we can get back to working on another thing. Can I just back this truck in right between this? Yes, I can. Perfect. I just heard somebody pull up and that has got to be our guy for our GMC or Chevy. I, I don't know. We have too many trucks here. I get them all confused, but 
He's coming to pick up our Chevy. Oh, man, is that thing nice. Okay, so the guy's taking it out for a quick test drive here. He's just checking out the, uh, the airbag function. But, oh, man, is this truck nuts. This kind of gives me Stormtrooper vibes, except the purple. But this thing is just built to a T. And white trailer to match. I am uh, pretty dang jealous. But, hey, our SEMA truck's going to be looking pretty good. Actually, you know what? I bet you this Jeep would match up pretty good with this truck. All right, so long story short, the dude decided he was going to take the uh, Chevy there. But we thought, hey, well, he's here. May as well load this thing up for an Instagram picture. I mean, we got the whited out builds here. Why not? Yeah, look at that. That is quite the setup. Maybe he needs to buy this thing off of me. Although, I don't know. I love my Jeep. Oh, that is just nuts how good that looks. All right, we're just getting the truck loaded up here. That ought to do it. We'll just air it down for the ride home. Good stuff. I'm gonna go check on the guys, see what's going on there. The dude should be coming to pick this Cummins up any minute now, so. Oh, one thing I gotta do before I go into the shop. We gotta get this truck and trailer washed off, and then we're also gonna be getting this washed off because we're taking this to a truck show. It's in Nashville this weekend, and we frankly gotta get going if we wanna make it there. So as soon as the SEMA truck's done, or at least partly done, we are out of here the whole shop is leaving and uh it, it's gonna be a busy day until we get everything done there we go get the flat deck washed off here we were actually thinking about uh grabbing a second one here because i know where i can buy one super quick we got like just i think a couple days before nashville it's like this weekend so we got to get going here but if i happen to go pick up a trailer today we could get it painted tonight and we could have a whited out trailer for the build all right boys it's two days later here i have slept probably a total of oh maybe four hours i managed to find a whited out trailer we've got chris's truck hooked up to the trailer here that's what this truck is going to be going on to. And then the SEMA truck is just about done. Now, the only reason we were able to finish that as quick as we did is because we already had every single part that we needed to finish it. And it's all just a matter of getting it all bolted on there. It's already been all powder coated and everything. So it's all just a matter of that. It's almost done. We've been cranking it out here. To be honest, we kind of forgot about Nashville and it was kind of a last minute thing. So we're getting all that done here. I'm going to get uh, that truck loaded up here and we got about 12 hours before we got to leave. So the guys in the shop cranking out the rest of the SEMA truck there and I'm just out here making sure everything's ready to go for us. There we go. Look at that. That's all loaded up. I'm hoping this truck makes it to Nashville because if it doesn't, uh, you know what? We may just switch it out here with our other F-350. It, it's basically the same thing, just newer and doesn't have a flatbed. It's the same color and everything. Considering it's newer, it has a new trans in it, new motor, all sorts of good stuff in it. So we might just take this thing instead. And it's got rock lights, so that's even better. There, I think that already sits a lot better and I have a lot more confidence in this truck than I do that truck. So I think we should be good to go on that end. One trailer down, one to go. And the truck that's supposed to go here in about 12 hours isn't even finished yet. So it's going to be down to the wire to see if we can get this done in time. All right, boys. So it is T minus one hour until we have to leave for Nashville here. And we ran into a problem with the drive shafts on the SEMA truck. So we're hoping we can get that fixed. But the guy says drivable. So in other words, it's good to go to put on a trailer and drive to Nashville. So I present to you the official Elevated AF SEMA truck. Well, boys, I don't know how we got this thing done, but we got to go. So I'm going to get this thing loaded up onto the trailer and uh, we're going to get going. So we somehow managed to get this sucker on a 22 inch lift running some specialty forged rims, custom fusion bumpers, grills, you name it. This truck has pretty much got it custom. And I really sure as heck hope it actually fits on the trailer here because if it doesn't, we may have a slight problem and it does. Okay. Okay. Problem averted. Now, I know what you're going to say. Austin, this looks the exact same as this truck paint-wise. Yes, I know. Once we saw this paint scheme on that truck, we knew we had to do it on this truck. Now, this is a wrap, so we could change it at any time. The only thing that we can't really change is the uh, lift, because that's all powder-coated. But everything else is wrapped, including the bumpers. So we can just peel that off and start again if we'd like. But I would say that this thing looks absolutely sick. And we even got the little step up over here. Look at this. You can just step right up into the bed if you want. Well, not that easy, but, you know, it works. So we're going to get going down here to Nashville and uh, have a good time. Hopefully see some cool trucks. And once we get back, this thing is going right back into the shop to get finished up here for SEMA. And hopefully, it should be a good time. We're going to be taking this down there as well, because... 
Why not have two trucks? Anyway, hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe and goodbye.